Hey guys, Dennis here with Initial Ascent. Um, today we're going to talk about rifle cleaning. And I'm not going to demonstrate it myself. I'm just going to show you a couple of things uh, as an intro. And then I'm going to lead to a video that I shot a few weeks ago up at Divide Gun Company in Salmon, Idaho. The owner, Todd, just was kind enough to take me through the process to properly clean this rifle. Now, there are a thousand ways to clean these rifles properly. Um, this is just a really good way that Todd's used over the years, and uh, I've decided to adopt it as well. So, the first thing that he did was put a bore guide in. This one is by Tipton. I think he used another brand, but uh, anyway, it does the same thing. So, it seals off the action from the barrel so no solvent or anything gets into the action um, and it just keeps it all in the barrel. The other thing that he did was take and put, uh, this is also from Tipton, um, put a plastic bottle on the end and so when you're running your patches through um, there's, there's fine residue and, and uh, droplets that come out of that and so that catches all that it catches the dirty patches and kind of keeps your area clean so um, he used three different um, solvents so the first one he used uh, was the shooter's choice mc7 uh, bore cleaner um, and he'll explain kind of why he uses those um, another one is the montana extreme bore solvent that's, he probably did the most work with that. And then the last one is the Sweets 7.62 uh, solvent. And so between, between the uh, Montana Extreme and the Sweets, those got the most use. Didn't use the Shooter's Choice uh, too much. But uh, anyway, so now we're going to take you to the video and show you how Todd told me to clean this rifle. So I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to message us. Um, or you could message Todd directly at DividegunCompany.com. Out with this stuff here. And what is that stuff? That's the bore solvent. The Montana Extreme bore solvent. So we're gonna push a few of these down to start getting that stuff broke up. Black. Yep. Let's try to get that out. So see how it's starting to get a little bit better. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna keep I just want to get this stuff to start soaking in, getting that all the carbon buildup start breaking down. Okay. So see how it's pretty good now? Yep. Okay, so now we'll brush it out so we'll get the brush. So solvent on the brush. You know, here it's gonna squeak a little bit because of the all the stuff in it, the copper. Uh-huh. So that's normal. Yeah, that's normal. It'll start going away here in a second. Film that carbon ring in there, or that powder ring. Mm -hmm. So, about how many rotate or revolutions do you get on that? I just go till it's quit squeaking. Okay. And then I go a few more just to make sure. Okay. So, once that's done, now we, we broke up a bunch of that stuff in there, right? Yep. So, we're going to take some more solvent and try to get that junk we broke up out of the barrel. See how black that is? Yep. So we're gonna Do a few of those. Mm -hmm. Kind of get it to where it's... Are you twisting that at no, all? No, rod doesn't sell. So see how it's pretty, pretty yep. clean now? Yep. So now we go right here to the sweets. Okay. So 
we're just some of that on there and we're just kind of a little bit jagged just move it down the barrel see how it's there and we're just gonna let that sit here okay for three four minutes and that sweets that is what copper remover that's the copper remover yep okay because we got to take it out chemically See how blue that is? Yep. Oh. That's all the copper coming out. Sweet. So we just keep doing this process like this. Mm -hmm. Wet patch, dry patch, till we get all that blue out of there. And what do you mean wet patch, dry patch? So this is a wet patch with the sweets. Yep. And I'll follow it up with a straight dry patch. Okay. Just to Not get, like so that was a dry patch there. That was a dry okay, patch. Okay, gotcha. Yep. You're just, I see how you're doing that. Yep. yep. You're letting it sit now. Let it sit because that's chemically taken. So that, that's chemically. See how blue that is? Oh, yeah. Really bluer than the first time. Yep. You'll feel even going down your bore sometime with that dry patch. Mm -hmm. You'll feel a little like, almost like a ratcheting. Oh. And you know that's still the copper that's yeah. in there. Better than that last one. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it goes back and forth too. But like yo yo a little yeah, bit. We don't have Justin mm -hmm. he needs practice. See, I'm not getting the rasping down as I did before. See how it's kind of going to get a little bit muddy? Mm -hmm. When it starts getting muddy like that, I kind of know it's getting, getting closer. It's a lot, yeah, it's going to clean up a lot better. Yeah, see, there's nothing grabbing in there. See, look at that. Two wet patches with the shooter's choice. And then a dry patch to get all the... Then, all we have left to do is get this out of here. And take the <clears throat> bore mop in and just get the chamber out. Make sure there's no chemical anything in that. That's it. Okay. And then I just clean it up in here. You see how it has a little bit on it, not much. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, I doubt then you can take a dry one and real dirty. And you can see it's just back to 